Hello, Pastor Deborah here from the Agape Love, Love is Here studio in the Zoom room. And I want to give a big thanks to Pixabay for the lovely motion video that you're watching. This is another word of encouragement for you. In fact, it is number six in the new Zoom studios. Today's word of encouragement is called In Your Presence. Yes, that one you see coming down. In Your Presence is the fullness of joy. I want to give you two scripture references that during all the trying times, it does not matter what faith you are, what religion, or even what God you serve. This God that has come down to you out of the great heavens and is here on the earth with us. This God that went to a cross and has now risen above all death, above all sickness, and even above the grave. So let me give you that you are welcome to have for your own, to believe in to trust and to look to and to repeat to yourselves in times when it's tragic and sad, times when there's not enough food, times of war, times when your nation is full of corruption. Psalm 16, 11, out of the authorized King James Version. These words are not just for believers. They are for all humanity. And if you don't even believe in this God that has come down, shed his own life for you, shine out from the heavenlies, and says, come home to me when your time is finished. Oh, you, O oh Lord God, you will show me the path of life. Be encouraged. This God that Pastor Deborah serves is intimate with and is a minister of its kingdom here on earth, the kingdom of heaven. In his presence is the fullness of joy, spiritually. And if you get full of it in your spirit, you can tell your soul, be at peace, do not be afraid. Do not be worried. For at his right hand, the right hand of the mighty, majestic king, there are pleasures for you. Oh, not the kind of earthly pleasures you might be thinking of, but eternal pleasures of fullness of joy, love, and peace that await you in his kingdom. Psalm 17, 15. Both of these psalms were written, spoken to us by a wonderful man, King David of Israel, a young man who as a child found this God. But he strayed from his path as an adult, got into adultery and murder, corruption, fear, and sought out love from others instead of his God. And he had to be returned back to that child. And he had to be forgiven, full of, filled with mercy and compassion again, and get back on the right path of life. Psalm 17, 15 says, As for me, I will behold your face in righteousness. When you come into his family, when you choose to believe in him and his gift on a cross, you will behold his face in righteousness. It will be like you can't look at the sun now when it's at its zenith, full of bright and glory. It'll blind you. But when you come into this new glorious state, 
spiritually, you can look into his face and you will see him smiling at you, holding out his arms to hold you and love you as a father. I shall be satisfied, he said. King David says. You too will be satisfied spiritually. And when you awake out of your deep sleep, out of your death, out of the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life, out of your soul, when you come forth as a new creature, out of death itself and out of the grave, you will be like him. A shining light. You see all the lights all around him? Those are those who are part of his family. Oh, the stars tell us many things about him. It's beyond our imagination how far the stars go, even how they got created. But when you look to this God, the one that went to a cross, you will be looking at him in righteousness, glory, and beauty. He will help you to awake up out of your death, out of the grave. And death will not look so bad to you because death is coming to all of our physical bodies. But he says, I've overcome that. And I will put you on my right hand. There's fullness of joy and there's light there with me. So be encouraged today. The God of the great kingdom of heaven that came down, became one of us, went to a cross, glorified himself, rose up out of the death, out of the grave. And he says there, now follow me. Come into my kingdom. Come and I will satisfy you. Even after death takes your physical body. So be encouraged. Do not lose hope. He's waiting for you. Pastor Deborah's there and so many others. For I too have come out of the grave. And I too sit at his right hand. And I receive pleasures forevermore. He shows me the path to go. And he is a loving father. A great king with a wonderful kingdom and it's here on earth so come be encouraged come out of your hopelessness come out of your fear and your confusion come into his light he's waiting and he is not far be encouraged today he is there he has come to earth and he is with us love always and forever Pastor Deborah, out of the Agape Love, Love is Here, Zoom Studio, with we want to give a great thanks and praise and blessings to Pixabay for providing this motion video to you freely. Please check it out. It's a wonderful ministry. And it's for Zoom and maybe other live streamings. But for you today, be encouraged. A heart that loves you, a father that cares about you, and will help you pass through the grave, pass through death, and sit on his right hand, and be with him, and have eternal and forevermore great happiness and joy in him, through him, and because of him. His love is so powerful. And it is for all people, and you will all live. Love always, Pastor Deborah.